the, the time has come. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you're all really excited to get this started. So uh, my name is Kent Jones. I am the state engineer, uh, uh, the director of the Division of Water Rights, and I'm really glad to have you folks here. Um, there, there are a couple of announcements before we get going on this that I'd like to <clears throat> tell you about. Uh, one, uh, restrooms, this is an important topic, are just out the door to the, to the left, down the hall here, and they're both men's and women's restrooms are right there fairly close. Another thing, that, uh, if you need to take a phone call today, you know, d do whatever you'd like to do, but they've asked us not to go out into the main foyer if, if we're talking on our phones. Evidently, it's been in the past a little disruptive to some of the processes that are going out there. So they said if you're going to take a phone call, there's some places over here in the hall that you can kind of work into and use the phone. But, uh, you know, don't, don't worry about getting up and moving around other than you'll miss a critical test question whenever you go out. So, <laughs> so uh, okay. And the third thing, uh, we're going to involve you in something today that... Uh, wasn't on the agenda. Uh, the the building uh, safety and security processes that go on in here, we have to make sure every, everybody is secure and knowing what they're supposed to do. It just so happens today that there is a secret that nobody knows about that's going to happen today at 1.30. Um, there's going to be a fire drill. It's a timed fire drill and we just we tried to get that moved, and they said, regardless of when we have this in the building, and nobody's supposed to know about this, so don't tell anybody uh, about this, but it's going to happen. And what's going, what's going to be required then is this room has to be vacated, which means you're going to have to get up and we'll go out. Yeah, is this, is this well, I don't know. Are all the doors open? All doors are available. They're, they're roofing uh, on our building today, too, and we haven't had a leak in the building for a long time until they started roofing, and as soon as they did, water came in and ceiling tiles have been ruined. But they've got things all fenced off here because there's debris falling off the roof. So as you go out these doors, please cover your head and run just as fast as you can. Now, actually, they've got it cordoned off for you to, for to walk through, but you'll notice it's all fenced off because it's a hazard area too. So if you don't get burned alive in the drill in here, you might get hit by falling debris going out. We are supposed to assemble just, just straight out uh, by the buildings. Uh, the, uh, are we the warehouse? No, it's about just by the bike lockers, I'll show them. Okay, just out by the bike? So just outside of the hazard area, and occasionally look up to see if you see shingles flying off the roof. You want you want to get out of their way. But anyway, nobody knows about this. It's happening today at 1.30, and you're, go you're going to have the opportunity to participate in that. So if you have some continuing education, fire safety uh, uh, requirements with the job that you're with, you, you can count these as a .01 hour for fire safety. So... Um, I think, were those the three? Okay, I've got the announcements done, okay. Um, also today, the building uh, is going through a, a drill for the Utah shakeout, and we are not going to participate in that, but be aware if you're out taking a phone call, walk by an office, and somebody's under their desk at 1015 today, this is the drill that we're doing, that every, we're supposed to stop and drop and get under our desks. Uh, some of us stay under there quite a while once, once we do that, but um, that's happening today. But we've told them we are not going to participate in that. But at 10.15, if, you, if you're thinking of something, just remember, they want us to be safe in this building if, in fact, there's an earthquake or something that uh, they just are trying to get us to be aware that we're supposed to get under and get up to cover and get to safety. And uh, so we are, the building is participating in that drill, but they don't care about you people. So, so, <laughs> so, so you don't have to keep yourself safe at 1015. Okay. So that, those are the announcements that we're going through. I'm glad to have you here to, to, uh, learn about some water rights things. And some of you, uh, may know a lot of what we're going to talk about today, but as uh, we appreciate Rural Water uh, uh, Association uh, <coughs> sponsoring this this uh, training session, we talk 
several years ago about uh, what we can do to help the Division of Water Rights and Rural Water work together on, on this process. And one of the dis discussions was that if we can get people to understand Utah water rights processes and responsibilities and statutory duties a little bit better, that's really gonna help water right processes go better in the state of Utah. And uh, so we, we came up with this plan, let's, let's do this. And as it's developed, they've actually gone through the certification. We've got some companies and, and um, municipalities and others who are actually requiring people to get this certification because the more you understand about what we do, the, the better it is for people to uh, know the processes of water rights, know what we're dealing with, know why we're making the decisions we're making, and then it helps you work with us a lot better. So we just, I just appreciate your interest, uh, whether you've been forced to come here by your employer or, or <laughs> whether you're here on your own accord, but I, I just appreciate so much people learning about this because we've seen a difference over the last few years of people have gained an understanding. They just know some of the things that we're doing. They understand why we have to do uh, what we're doing. So you're going to get a, a couple of days here of just discussions of everything that we deal with, with water rights and why we deal with it and how that relates to the statute. So so my, my position is actually a governor appointed position. It's a four year job. Uh, we don't report to a board. It's just us making the decisions. And they, tr they decided to do that because they don't want decisions in water rights in the state of Utah made based on a political <laughs> you know, to put this job into political jeopardy. They're just saying, you need to be able to make decisions and be secure in those decisions and not be influenced by by whoever or feel that your job is in jeopardy every day. Um, you know, I was friends with the Wyoming State Engineer. We've, we've worked together for quite a while. Uh, we talked to him last year and uh, they were changing governors and he'd only been in for a couple of years and uh, the new governor comes in, they just, pulled him out and he's gone. He was hoping to stay for several more years and they pulled him out and there was a big article that came out in the New Mexico paper saying, you just can't do that with state engineers. They need to stay. You need to have some continuity with people uh, making decisions and working through the process. And so they just went on and on about how we need to have continuity here. But, but the job is a four year job. So I was appointed. I've still got another year and a half to go on this appointment. And this is the third appointment that I've had. So, so, so but it is, it is all through the governor's office. I work uh, under the direction of the division or of the Department of Natural Resources. We're here in this building, but, but it's really selected by the governor. So, and it's just a, a great opportunity to be able to work with the people in the state of Utah to, to help make decisions about where we're going to go to meet future needs and to how decisions can be made to help protect the rights of others. And that's, that's one big role that I just see is that we make decisions and my main responsibility is to protect existing water rights and to keep things in balance. And it's difficult sometimes and I haven't found any time we make a decision that everybody's totally in agreement with that. <laughs> okay, so it's, so it's tough and they're going to tell you about the processes that we have to deal with. But, but I do appreciate you being here. I think it's great to have this knowledge and understanding and it just helps us communicate a lot better and it'll help you as you deal with our office better by understanding these principles. So I think the first thing we're going to then is Andrew Dutson is going to give us a presentation. Uh, about the history of, of water rights, and uh, I'm going to turn the time. Any any questions that anybody has before we get rolling? So, so you have got your agendas to to look at and follow through, and we're just going to kind of go through that process. But again, thank you so much for being here. So.